Hey guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to uh, use quad modeling to create a helmet. Uh, so what we're going to do throughout this tutorial is I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up the image planes. Um, I'm going to show you how to create this helmet. And I'm also going to show you how to create this uh, sphere using a little lattice deformer. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll have these things saved for you in my public samples. And we're just going to go ahead and get started with the file. Alright, so first thing I'll do is go ahead and throw this in the layer. Go ahead and create an empty layer. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and create polygon primitive plane. And what we're going to do is go to our front view. And we're just going to put one plane right in our front view. We'll grab the edge, go to your side view. <clears throat> Actually, let's go ahead and go to object mode and bring this right up here. I'm going to grab the edge and bring it over so we can see what we're doing. <clears throat> okay, so we really want to make sure we have this placed good before we start extruding everything. Okay, we're going to put one edge loop right in the middle. Just going to make sure we're in our polygons menu. And we're going to go to Edit Mesh, Insert Edge Loop, put an edge loop right there. And we're going to hit W on our keyboard and move that up. Let's go ahead and go to Front View. See, my image planes aren't totally lined up. They're a little bit off. Not a big deal. We'll, we'll kind of split the difference. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Edge Mode. Go to Add Mesh Extrude. Go to Side View. Hit W. Now what we could do is we could actually go to um, Layouts. panels, layouts, and we can do three planes split bottom. Okay. I'm just going to close off some of these windows because I don't need them. And here you want your front view. Okay. Five, five. Okay, so what we want to do here is go to our vertex mode and grab these verts and bring them out. You can tell they're a little, the plane's just a little off. It's not a huge deal. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to edge mode again. Hit G and W. Oops. Add a mesh extrude. Don't hit G and W. Just go ahead and extrude. And then bring it out. See, so we bring it out in the side view. And then we bring it out in the front view. And if you take a look at perspective, we're starting to get a really nice... Um, shape here. Okay. So there we go. Let's go back to edge mode. Add a mesh extrude. Hit W. Okay, it didn't work. Okay, go ahead and bring it up. And we're going to bring it out. And again, we're going to kind of, we're not going to bring it out too much because we're going to put all this detail in later. We're just going to actually cover that right now. Okay. Extrude one more time. We bring it about right there. We're going to, in our perspective, looks pretty good. So we'll go to Vertex here. I'm just going to do something to make my life a little easy. I'm going to select this and go to Assign New Material Lambert. And I'm going to go ahead and turn off the transparency on this, just so you can see through it. It's a little bit easier to, uh, to use your image plane tomorrow. Okay, so here we go. So I'm just fixing this. You can tell, these again, these planes are just a hair off. So don't, don't go too... You know, crazy having to uh, line up everything perfectly. Let's try to bring that one in a little bit. Okay, so it looks pretty good. 
Now let's go ahead and uh, build the side here. So what we could do is go to Edit Mesh Extrude and go ahead and ring this up. Actually, let's not do that. Let's go to Vertex and just bring these verts up. Let's see what our front view looks like. It's pretty good. Okay, let's go back to our view here. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and go to Edge Mode. Then we're going to go to Edge Mesh Extrude. We're going to go ahead and go to Top View here, actually. And this is obviously going to be the back of the helmet. Okay, so we want the back and the front both to line up on the same axis here. So just go ahead and highlight these and scale them flat. So, looking pretty good. Now what we want to do is obviously bring these in. Go ahead and bring this in. Again, from the side view, what we did is we actually just pushed it out a little too much. And that's why we use all our views to model, so we avoid all that. It's okay, we could fix it. Let's go ahead and bring them all back. <clears throat> just go ahead and go to your other view. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Go ahead and look at our perspective. All right, we just fix that. We want to actually go to Sign Existing Material, number one. We're just going to fix the edge flow a little bit. So it's a little crooked here. We want to get rid of that. So there we go. So here we go. Okay. Let's go ahead and go to front view. Your perspective. We can bring this back. All right, so far so good. We're doing okay here. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to build off this middle piece. Okay. Alright, so we could build the top piece and then go from there. We're going to do one more thing on the bottom piece here. Go to Edge. So I had a mesh extrude. I'll just give the bottom some thickness. So right about there. 
And now we can do here is go to edge, grab these edges. Side view. Go ahead, mesh extrude. Okay, go to vertex. So we're going to bring this basically right up to the edge of the helmet. Okay, again, we'll fill in this middle stuff here later. We'll do all those details. So let's go ahead and go to top view. Go to vertex. Go ahead and highlight. Scale flat. And then we'll go to mesh mirror geometry. Go ahead. So this is basically what we have so far. Looks pretty good. And I can tell it's obviously the bottom of the helmet, so it's a good start. In the next video we'll do is we'll go ahead and do the top of the helmet.